Good evening. My name is David Curtis, and I'm the deacon at St. John's Episcopal Church. Welcome to this service of Compline, an ancient service of the church. It is the last service that monks and nuns would say in monasteries and in convents. It has been referred to as our good night God prayers. I welcome you here. Our service will begin in a few moments on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. I invite you to breathe deeply and to let go of those things that you have been carrying this day. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault and thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, then grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Turning to page 128, let us say Psalm number four together. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin, and speak to your heart in the silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, at once I fall asleep, for only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Turning to page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present. O merciful and loving God, and protect us through the hours of this night, Amen. so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. 
shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite you at this time to, to pray for those people who are on your heart. Pray for those who need your prayers. And I invite you to offer up your thanksgivings, your joys, either silently or aloud. I ask your prayers for all frontline workers, all healthcare workers, all who will administer the vaccine and all who will receive it. I ask your prayers for those who are facing continued financial insecurity. I ask your prayers for those who have not enough heat during this time of coldness. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us this day and evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening for Compline. I hope that you will rest well. I hope that you will rest in the charge of God's holy angels. And I hope that when you waken tomorrow morning, you will be filled with the grace to do this thing called life all over again. God bless you.